Welcome back to Deadly Survival Skills. This is the series where every video I take a look at 10 tips from former Navy SEAL Clint Emerson's book, 100 Deadly Skills. This is episode six out of 10, but it really doesn't matter what order you watch these in. With that said, let's get right into it. Number one, covertly access locked luggage. So you need to break into somebody's suitcase. Maybe it's your own because you forgot the combination on the lock. If that is the case, then I would suggest abandoning any aspirations of becoming any sort of special agent. The first thing you need to do is take a picture of the suitcase. This is so that when you are done rifling through their personal possessions, you can put it back the way it was and it looks like it's never been touched. Now you must move the zippers to the end of the track and pry open the track using a pen or a similar instrument. If you've ever had a zip where the track is open where it shouldn't be, then you know that the zip is never really going to recover from this and the lifespan of your suitcase has just been drastically reduced. I bought a new suitcase there a few years ago and the track popped open the very first time I tried to close it. It was parked, of course. I eventually managed to get it all back in place, but the area of the track where that happened is now forever iffy. It's only really a matter of time before the suitcase explosively falls apart when I'm in the airport and I start to cry. Now you do whatever you're gonna do with the luggage, you dirty bastard, and you zip it all back in place using the photo you took as reference to get it just right. Number two, open a car door with a piece of string. In this tip, Clint shows us how to tie a slip knot in a piece of string, slide it in through a car door and use it to pull up the lock. I'm not gonna comment on this too much because I haven't seen one of these older style locks in years and also I think the tip is fairly self-explanatory. I don't think there'd be any way to relock the car when you're leaving so I guess an astute target will just know that somebody's been in their car. Number three, discreetly open garage doors. These type of doors aren't very common in Ireland so I'll just have to take Clint's word for it. Apparently there's a pull lever on the inside which you can snag with a clothes hanger I imagine that's very difficult to do from the outside, but you now have access to the garage and Clint shows the agent doing a little tactical roll in to reward himself for his hard work. Number four, install an audio device. Clint shows us a few different places to hide bugs like in picture frames or electrical outputs or in a TV. There's a soft install and there's a hard install. A soft install requires you to continually revisit the site to replace the bug's batteries and such. And a hard install, the bug just takes its power directly from a power source on site, which obviously takes longer to set up. And really anything can be bugged. I recently did a video on the Waco siege and in my research I learned that the FBI had been putting bugs in the milk cartons that they were giving to the Davidians as part of negotiations. Number five, turn a speaker into a microphone. Well I never knew this but apparently you can reverse the polarity of stereo speakers and turn them into microphones. If you locate the positive and negative wires which are red and black and rewire them into each other's terminals, then cut the ends and attach to an audio jack and plug the audio jack into a phone. You can call up the phone and use the speaker to listen in. Very interesting stuff, although it is very, very important that you put the phone to silent and auto answer. You won't want to go through all that trouble and then Number six, construct and install a pinhole camera. Get yourself a wireless baby monitor and then crack open the casing of the camera so that you can disguise the lens in something. In his example, Clint chooses to mold plastic around the camera and paints it to look like a rock. You know, just because he was a Navy SEAL doesn't mean he doesn't have a more sensitive side, which he gets in touch with through artistic expression. Now, of course, the lens is wired up to a battery pack and a transmitter, which you will need to put in a waterproof container and bury. Set up in a vehicle to remotely observe bad guys. The use of the term bad guys here is a bold socio-political statement, especially when in the picture it looks like he's observing what appears to be a typical American home in the suburbs. Not gonna get into the whole US domestic surveillance thing. Let's just assume that these are inarguably bad guys, you know, uh, maybe they possess a Kinder Egg or something. 
Number seven, make homemade plastic. In this tip, Clint shows us how he made his own plastic for molding the little rock that he made. He really should have his own arts and crafts show. He'd have to take out all the bits about, you know, stabbing people in the throat with steel barreled pens, but I think it would be a big hit. Put some milk in the microwave for four minutes. He emphasizes not to boil it in capital letters, which is a rarity for this book. Even when he's talking about weapons and life-threatening situations, he doesn't use capital letters. So I can only imagine what happens when you boil the milk. He obviously knows something that we don't. Stir in eight tablespoons of vinegar and run the mixture through a strainer. Although I would call that implement a sieve. Uh, we can argue about that in the comments. And now you have your own gourmet plastic. Number eight, send anonymous emails. First, you must utilize a free Wi-Fi spot that cannot be linked to you. So if you're a fat bastard, don't use McDonald's. He says download the app Tails and use it as an internet browser, but I think the language here is a bit confused. I looked up Tails and from what I can tell, it's its own operating system that you can boot off a USB stick and it uses Tor to browse the internet. The whole thing is very security focused and very anonymous and I imagine it's very safe, although I wouldn't trust it 100%. I like to go by the rule of thumb that if somebody can make it, somebody can break it. For example, Jewel EC DRGB was an algorithm for cryptographically secure pseudo-random number generation and was a recognized standard for many years. And then it was realized that the algorithm had the potential for a one-way backdoor and the NSA possibly knew about it for years. Number nine, hide information in plain sight. This tip allegedly shows us how to conceal a sensitive message inside an image file. Clint says cut and paste the image into a notepad document and then type your message above or below the image. But I don't get it. I mean, first of all, you can't put an image in Notepad. You can open up the image's raw format in Notepad, but you're not really going to be adding text to that without messing up the image. I mean, it can be done, just not this easily. Maybe he meant WordPad? You can certainly put an image into WordPad and you can put text above or below it, but you can't save that as an image with the text hidden in it. It seems to suggest that you write the text in white and I guess change the font to fucking wingdings or something and then just save the whole thing as a WordPad document. But uh, are your surveillers fucking stupid? If I'm looking for hidden information and I find a Word document that is just comprised of a single picture, yeah, you know, I'm not a fucking boomer. I understand that saving a single picture as a Word document is incredibly unusual. I'm just gonna go, oh, is that all that's in here? And then press Control A and see that no, you have very poorly tried to hide something. Number 10, hide and extract data using everyday photos. This technique is much more effective, I think. You simply take a photo of a scene that has your message hidden within it. In his example, Clint writes something on a piece of paper, crumples it up and puts it in the bin, which is in the background of a seemingly innocuous family photo. It's very clever and it'll work even better if you have it saved among a set of genuinely meaningless images. Although you will have to have some level of common understanding with whoever you're trying to communicate with. They're going to need to know ahead of time where you're likely to hide messages, uh, how many of the photos are going to have messages in them. Otherwise, they're just going to waste a lot of time. And there you have it. I must say today's tips have been very interesting. I definitely enjoy the more thoughtful, covert tips that show you the inner workings of things and how to exploit them. Very similar to uh, the last episode we did where we looked at the locks. But in the next video, we're back to hurting people. We're back to making weapons, we're back to just generally being a menace to society, so stay tuned for that.